Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Tropical back here today for another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be talking about some breaking news that just happened in the National Hockey League. It's 1.30 a.m. here in Quebec City, and a trade happened. What a crazy day, man. Patrick Kane got traded. Uh, a lot of people got traded at home. The Maple Leafs made like four trades. Uh, it, 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 this day felt kind of a bit like of a light version of trade deadline. Well, actually, I've seen some, some way worse trade deadlines than this. This was a pretty exciting day, actually. So, yeah, um, it breaking news. The Alley King just made a move. But before getting into that, I invite you guys to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to be updated with everything that's going on in the NHL. As well as for the Montreal Canadiens, I make one video a day surrounding the Habs, at least one video a day. So, yeah, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's try and get 100 likes of this video. That would be amazing. So, trade alert. Uh, Kings acquire Gavrikov and Corpy Salo from Columbus for a quick and a first round pick. So yeah, Jonathan Quick, the end of an era, uh, is going to the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange uh, of Corpy Salo and Gavrika. So decent move by the LA Kings when you look at it hockey wise. Like it's it's legit. Like it's good. Uh, adding a guy like Gavrikov is really solid. He's built uh to 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 make the playoffs. He's built um to shut down the defense, be physical in the playoffs. Uh, Corpi Salo, <clears throat> one of the most underrated goalies in the NHL. He he wasn't really uh, much talked about over the last couple of years because he was playing for Columbus. But remember when Columbus uh, were in the bubble, he made some amazing games. I think he made like a 72 saves uh, game. Uh, so, yeah, it's really solid uh, with the Kings in front of him. He's going to be really, really good. And uh, the, the Kings, like I said, sent quick in a first round pick. So they basically cap dumped uh, Jonathan Quick to Columbus. And gave out the first round pick for uh, Corpi Salo and Gavrikov. So decent move hockey wise, but holy crap, is it is it not good like human wise? Like, come on, man. This is absolutely brutal. And people are mad about this. Like, people are really, really mad about this. Uh, I've seen multiple trade uh, tweets saying, like, look, Patrick Kane and Jonathan Kuwik, two icons of an era traded in the same day. Yeah. Chicago and in LA, we're exchanging cups every year, man. 2010, it was um, Chicago. 2012, it was LA. 2013 was Chicago. 2014 was LA. 2015 was Chicago. Those years were insane. And Patrick Kane and Jonathan Quick were probably the reasons why those two teams were able to win so many cups. Yes, Patrick Kane, it ended well with Chicago. Uh, they gave him what he wanted. A chance at winning the Stanley Cup with his buddy Panarin in New York. So for the Blackhawks, it ended well with Patrick Kane. But Jonathan Quick is apparently really, really unhappy with what happened today. And Frank uh, Cervelli said it. Uh, to say Jonathan Quick is unhappy with the trade, I'm told, is an understatement. The entire LA Kings team was a bit down after the game. A win, and you could understandably see in see it in Anzis Kopitar's face after a four-goal night. Tough deal. Kings traded a franchise legend. And yeah, it's a decent hockey move. Like, hockey-wise, it's really, really good for the LA Kings. But man, Jonathan Quick won this team two Stanley Cups, man. This guy was absolutely insane. He was the modern Dominic Koscheck, man, in those years. I don't know if all of you guys saw him play in those years, because, like, many of you are probably too young, but, like, holy crap, this guy was really, really good. And being at 37 years old, it was his last year of his contract. He probably was going to retire at the end of the year as an LA Kings. That's probably what he wanted. To retire as an LA King, make a last playoff run as a first or as a second goaltender. He probably didn't even care. He just wanted to be around, stay with the Kings, and retire with the Kings. And by cap dumping him to another team, it's kind of like, holy, okay, okay. I'm I'm not too, like, I, I kind of don't like this when you look at it from... When you look at it from this perspective, but like, yeah, it was it was a hockey move, man. Hockey move. It's a business. 
And yeah, apparently Jonathan Quick is really, really unhappy uh, on how things finished up with the LA Kings. And I would be, if I was him, I would be. And if I, I'm Hanze Kopitar, I would be pissed as well. Same thing from Drew Doughty. They went through war together, those three, and they just trade him like that in his last season of his career. Probably wanted to retire as an LA Kings. Got drafted by them in 2005, and oh my God, man. Oh my God, I really, I really don't like this. Hockey-wise, it's good, but like, human-wise, I know it's a business, but like, come on, this guy won the franchise two Stanley Cups, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, right, let me know what you guys will think about this. Am I the only one that sees it like this, or am I just like crazy or something? Anyways, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you agree with me. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. It's been your boy Tropical, and I'll see y'all later for another video. Have a good night. Have a nice rest of your day, and bye-bye.